Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we shall talk about the density of state and derive the expression of density of states. The density of states has uh, importance in understanding electronic processes, particularly the transport phenomena. We said that when a number of atoms come together to form solids, the energy levels is split. So if a number of lithium atoms come together, the two s orbitals of each of the atom is split to form the orbitals of the solid. Now in each orbital, there are two states, that is two electrons can occupy one orbital with opposite spins. So the half of the orbitals in the lithium solid is full and half of the orbitals are empty. That is those are generated with the splitting from the splitting of 2s of individual or isolated atoms. Now here we have shown the orbitals only for 14 lithium atoms. But in reality, this number is huge in the order of 10 to the power 23. So in that case, the spacing between the orbitals is very small. And uh, for the practical use, we call this as a band. And the half of the band is full and half of the band is empty in the case of lithium. Now the same thing happens with the silicon, except that it has a hybridization of 3s and 3p orbitals and then they, the hybridized orbitals, they uh, split to, to form bonding and antibonding states in the solid. And the, all the electrons are occupied in the bonding orbitals or the bonding band, which we call the balance band. And the next band is the conduction band and there is an energy gap. We, call, we also call it band gap. Now, this is of course at zero Kelvin temperature that all electron are sitting in the balance band and the conduction band is completely empty. But at room temperature, because of heat and uh, also because of light, electrons may excite from balance band to conduction band, creating a void or hole in the balance band. In case of photon, we need a photon with energies higher than this band gap or energy gap. Now for the silicon at room temperature in every centimeter cube, there are about 15 billion free electrons or free carriers. Now, how do we estimate this number? To estimate this number, we need to know what is the density of a state or uh, how many states are there in a particular energy range per unit volume. So the energy band has a number of closely spaced energy levels or energy states. Then we call Z of E as the density of state, which gives us the number of states per unit volume per unit energy range. If we multiply Z of E with the energy range, then it gives us the number of states per unit volume. So we define density of states as like this. Now to get an expression for this or the mathematical uh, function, so density for the density of states, we start considering a crystal of length L. So here for simplification, we assume that the each of the side have the same length L, but in reality, these lengths could be different and they may not be same for the for all three sides. But since we divide uh, this number with the volume, it doesn't depend actually what is the actual size or uh, of the shape of the crystal because we calculate the number of states per unit volume. So, the, so we choose this to make the calculation easy. Now, 
it is easy to calculate for the cubic system. Now the volume is just simply L cube. Now the electrons that are free to move within this system of length L will form standing waves. And the, and the number of standing, the wavelength of the waves will be L by N, or N is an integer. Uh, from the de Broglie hypothesis or de Broglie relation, we know that momentum is related to the wavelength with this expression. Here, the plus minus is to include both the directions. Now, we have written it here for Px, that is the x component of momentum, but this is true for y component and the z component of the momentum also. If we substitute the value of lambda here, then we have the momentum like this. Now, if we draw a momentum space, th that this is not a regular coordinate space that we draw, this is a momentum space, that is here the coordinates are the momentum component, Px, Py, and Pz. And from here, we see the increment is h by l. So, the, in the cube of this length h by l, since this is in uh, all the direction, the increment is h by l. In this cube, so for example, this one, h cube by l cube, there will be two states in this volume. So the each state occupy h cube by two l cube volume. Now, if we zoom out from here, from the, in this momentum space, then we shall see that the uh, for a sphere, sphere or for a sar, uh, for a circle, this is in 2D. That's why it looks like a circle, but this is a sphere. For a sphere, this would be the sorry for the sphere of uh, of length p. Then all the points in this radius will have same momentum. Now, we know that the momentum is related to the kinetic energy with this expression, E equals P square by 2M. Here we have used M star, that is the effective mass, not the regular electronic mass, because when the electrons move in the band, it looks like that it is a particle having this mass. That's why we use this is uh, this uh, m star and we call it effective mass now we know that the energy is related with the momentum this uh, in, uh, as this one so if we take a derivative of the energy then we will have this expression here actually it's p by m star now p equals from here we can see square root 2 m e so use that one here so finally we have this expression. So if we rearrange it, we have dp equals this. That is with the change of momentum, this mass, the, uh, with, sorry, with the change of energy, dE, the momentum changes this mass around E. So the dp is related to the dE with this expression. Now, if we calculate the volume of this shell, this would be 4 pi square multiplied with dp. That is the length of the shell, that is the uh, sorry circumference of the sphere multiplied with this increment dp. So the volume is 4 pi square dp. Now, if we put the values of p and the dp, then we have this expression. So this is the volume of this shell. Now we have seen that the uh, uh, state uh, for a, for one state, it the volume occupied by one state is h cube by two l cube. So if we divide this volume with that volume, then we will have the number of states in this volume. That is, we divide this volume by the volume occupied by each state. So we have 
the number of states in this energy range E and E plus GE is given by this. So, this is the number of energy state in this energy range. Now, if we divide by the divide this with the volume that is L cube, then we have number of states. So, this is with uh, H, but if we write it with H cut, which is H cut equals H by twice pi, we call it reduced Planck's constant, then we have GE, this one. So, if we make a plot of this, it uh, will have, since it depends on the energy and the square root of the energy, so it has this is energy in this axis and the density of state in this state. So the, uh, the density of state have a typical form like this one. That's all for today. Thank you.